this mobile phone is from another shop with a display problem as you can see right here the technician tried to change the screen but yet the screen wasn't displaying the screen was totally black nothing showing so i had to open the phone check the diode reading out of the screen connector to see if there is any open circuit but everything was okay so from here i know that the problem should be from the display section of the mobile phone so i had to locate the display section to check if everything is okay in that end as you can see right here i was removing the, the shield right here to get access to the display section as you can see here we are right here so in this mobile phone we have our display section right here and uh, if you take a look right here you will see that there is a component that is burned out and yeah this type of fault if you don't take a look carefully you won't even notice this type of component so looking at the schematic diagram i knew exactly that this was a coil right so this was a passive component so i just had to to test to see if there is any shorting right here by checking the ground reading and uh, yeah seems like i could actually solve the problem from here yeah at least do something from here to see if the problem will get solved before checking anything else so as you can see what i'm trying to do right here i try to i just have to to jump out a cable as you can see i jump out a cable right there and you cannot do this anywhere you need to know the type of component that was there and the function of the component before you can do this to understand so i jump out the cable and clean the, the, the mobile pcb and uh, yeah all i had to do was to make sure that the jumper that I did right here did not cause any shorting to the ground so I have to clean the mobile PCB and test the, the ground reading as you can see what I'm doing and uh, yeah the screen displayed but it was broken and I asked the technician to bring me the screen he bought from the market and everything is good